Hello guys, Mars Freeman is here. If you have followed my previous tutorials about Gaia and Unreal Engine, that I want to let you know that the scaling, the way how we scaled the landscape was actually not correct. I have never noticed, and I have seen actually this kind of formula for scaling the landscape in other tutorials that other YouTubers use. And yeah, like I just now, while I was recording the next tutorial, I noticed that actually the scale was off. So I'm just gonna quickly show you where is the issue. So I created for myself this tool to kind of like auto scale all these parameters because there's like four places you need to actually input the correct scale. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you like briefly what it does and how you can make it yourself or if you wanna get mine, then it's available as a Patreon download. So if I put landscape resolution, which is here, and we are scaling this by core, we can see actually it's way smaller than the landscape. So this box is 1K and this is actually bigger. I think it's like, yeah, so it's basically like five, whatever is this, 5K landscape. It's off and it's incorrect. And I can quickly wanna show you two ways actually how you can fix it. Both these ways depends really where you want your C level. And if you still have your guy files, if you have deleted there, you have just only one option. We're gonna use currently the default settings that they use in the previous, so. Under the terrain definition, we height is 2600 and the scale is 5000. So all we need to do actually is let's select our landscape, uh, import from file, let's import our height map. Uh, and what do we have? Erosion, I believe we use erosion map. Open it up. So make sure everything is a scale is 100%. And now let's change just the height from 100 to 26 and why it's 26 because the height was 26,000 divided by 100 is going to be 26 so whatever height is there let's just divide by 100 and get the number and if we import and now i'm just going to set the rock layer and now we can see scale looks good uh, if i use my tool to just double check if the scaling is correct. Let's set map, generate assets. And we can see that now the box is actually correctly scaled to our landscape. So that was an easy fix. Another way is actually, I found this article here, this article where actually he explains better how, like, you know, the difference between Gaia scaling and Unreal Engine scaling and the way how he's actually proposing to scale things. And I just want to tell you, there's like at least 10 probably different ways I have seen people scaling it and you know, it looks close enough. It just really depends when you start to manipulate landscape, where is your sea level and how high you can make the top peak and how you, low you can make the lowest point in your map. The other option how we can do this is we just need to change the height to 512. 512, so you can see everything is flat. And now we need to change the scale to our resolution. So if you have 1K, 2K, 8K, whatever, that's what you're gonna input here. So we're gonna put the scale to our actual scale and bam. We can see immediately now it's scaled. Another thing that we actually need to change is by in previous project, we had uh, this, we set range to normalize. Now we need to set it out to raw, okay? And now we can just click start build Let's select the landscape. Let's create a new landscape, import from file. Now I'm gonna find the new erosion map that we just imported. And now just make sure everything is 100 here. Now we don't need to make any calculations here because now we did that in Gaia instead of Unreal Engine. So now if you import, uh, I just gonna quickly set this to the rock manage and we can go back i just gonna and here we go but anyways this was very very quick fix showing that now for the next tutorial i can show this is just important that we want to scale correctly and the biggest benefit actually for that is uh it's going to be easier now correctly scale this biome core because previously we were just trying different kind of random numbers to kind of like scale it to match it. Now we can just put the numbers in. So now if you go back to the texture that we used, remember last time we were just guessing the numbers. Now all you need to do is put 
1009, so basically a texture size that you have and add two zeros. So if you would have like, let's say 4K, then again, you would enter the 4K resolution number and add two zeros and your texture gonna be perfectly scaled to your landscape and don't need to guess and look how many times it tiles and all that. So now that part is perfect. And there's gonna be a few other things that now we're gonna scale according to landscape in the next tutorial. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick fix. If it helped in your project, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.